Now let's again start and discuss about how do I check in my code that whether HTML5 is supported or not. In order to do this, what do I require is any HTML tag you pick up first. Suppose there's a tag called as canvas, which is normally used for uh, 2D graphics or 2D drawing specifically. Uh, now in canvas, if I add some style first, suppose if I add height for the canvas as 300 pixel, if I add width for the canvas as 300 pixel, and if I add maybe a background color for the canvas, just to recognize it, and if I add a background color, which can be, uh, suppose, maybe yellow or so. Now in the canvas, there is nothing. If I just want to check whether HTML5 is supported or not, what I will do is I'll run this in IE like browser. Now you can see that HTML5, can, HTML5 canvas is supported because the yellow color appears in front of you, which means right now canvas is strictly supported. Now at the same time, suppose if I open development tools, and then just to simulate this, we have a section called as emulation. And what you can do is you can actually go and change the mode to a different browser altogether. So what if I change this to IE10? Still, I can have that yellow canvas in front of me. I'll go and try to check with IE9 version. Still, the canvas is supported, which means IE current version 11, 10, 9 are supporting canvas, which means HTML5. Let me go to 8th one and suddenly it vanishes, which means i8 is not supporting HTML5 at all. Is this true? Maybe I should rather say that i8 is not supporting HTML5 specific canvas as an API because the support started, I can say slowly. Now, if at all, I specify, like we change the version from, you can say 9 to 11, it is working and 8th, it is not working. Similar way, one can very well test on what browser, what is working and what is not working. But what if it is not working? What if I want to guide user and tell user that since canvas is not supported, maybe please upgrade your browser. How do I convey that? So one of the amazing thing about you can say new API is when the tag is not supported, then these tags contained gets rendered. So we can specify here that sorry, HTML5 is not supported on your browser. Please upgrade. Now let's run the break program one more time. Again, I'll say run, I'll say F12. I'll go to emulation section and make a small change. Now i9 is still supported. I'll go to i8 now, which was not supported some time back. Now I'll pick up i8 and suddenly you'll find out the content or UI doesn't get rendered now. What we have is we have got the text with respect to that content available now. Sorry, HTML5 is not supported. So amazing thing about HTML5, if you see that when the tag is not supported, then the content gets rendered for that tag. And this is not true for every tag, obviously. It's HTML specific tags like canvas, suppose. Same way, if at all, I come in this canvas tag and I add one more tag. Suppose if I add a video as a tag. And inside the video, if I copy the same content one more time, yeah. I may specify style for the video. Again, maybe I should copy the style. Height and width at least I can copy. Let me copy this. Let me specify it here. And let's complete double quote. Let's see what happens when I run this in the browser now. So HTML5, maybe since I don't have any video support, maybe added, maybe it's uh, showing us nothing right now. Maybe I'll go to F12 again. I'll go to emulation section and let's go for I10, I9 and I8. And in 8, you'll find out again what appears on the screen is HTML5 is not supported. So please upgrade, which means whether it is audio tag or video tag or canvas tag, all work in the same way. When the tag is supported, it will render the UI. When tag is not supported, the inline content return will be rendered, provided the tag has got end tag. So this becomes one way of you can say telling user or conveying user that he doesn't have HTML5 support. And for that, he may have to upgrade or she may have to upgrade the browser version. Can we actually check this using a program itself? You can check this in a program. So one option is we may write down a JavaScript code. 
So suppose if canvas is there, if I go for ID equal to suppose my canvas as a name of the control. And in the JavaScript, if at all, we try to find out that control. Maybe we'll try to execute some code on load. And I'll specify function name is check. And here we can author the function using JavaScript. We can find out this canvas first. So we'll ask JavaScript, get me the element by ID called as my canvas. And then when you get the element, I'll hold the element first, my canvas equal to so and so. And when you get the my canvas, now canvas is also an API, which means canvas is not only the tag, it comes up with some functionalities as well so that we can start drawing something on top of canvas. So if at all we have my canvas, we can very well check whether canvas has a method called as get context. Get context method is a very standard method of canvas, which will give us access or so called you can say a reference to the drawing context, which means we can draw with respect to X and Y axis on top of canvas. So to get that entire environment for, uh, uh, for uh, drawing a graphics, we can ask canvas, get me the context, which is 2D context, which means get me access to your so-called axis, X and Y axis premises. We'll try to hold over here context right now. Now, this function, if you see, this function only appears if HTML5 canvas is supported. This function won't execute if at all HTML5 canvas is not supported at all. Then what will happen if I run this on the browser which is not supporting HTML5. Can we check that? Let's do it. Again, I'll say right click and before that, I'll put a debugger here just to check it. Right click, view in a browser. It says, uh, I would say no cancel debugging because I want to do debug in uh, browser itself. So I would specify something like refresh now. It's i11 by default, go to 10. It gets loaded, we are in debugger now and we can slowly keep on debugging. So let's say step over, next statement gets executed. My canvas we can find, and then we have got my context fetched. So as you can see, if you carry a cursor, context has some sort of, you can say value as you can see here, which means this code works very fine for this other browser that we have. Let me go to emulation again and make a small change and make it to IE8 now. Again, I'll say step over execute this code. Obviously it finds the, you can say content right now, but this time it fails because now what happens is my canvas.get context, it fails. And if you look at the error, it says simply object does not support a property or a method called as get context. So the problem is when the code fails, you may catch the error and you may convey to the user, like we have got error in maybe, or we don't have HTML5 support or so. But then why to do this by our own? If at all, we already have somebody uh, uh, offering us this uh, maybe check to be performed quickly. Imagine we are checking right now canvas. Maybe on some browsers, video may not be supported because the HTML5 support was added by the browsers gradually. So some tags were supported in, on IE8 as well. But then IE8, you can see canvas is not supported. So in such cases, how do I check whether feature which I'm using in my program, whether that feature is supported or not? Will I keep on doing something like this? Like I will find out the control first, I will call some specific method, and then I'll keep on checking whether there's an error or not error. It's ridiculous. Instead of that, can somebody help me get this thing done? So we have a solution. What you do is you simply comment this. I am also not going to comment this body all apart. And I'll have here body written again. Okay. But then instead of I writing some JavaScript, now we have a solution available. And what's that? Let's go to browser and let's open one website. A very nice JavaScript library, which will help us check HTML5 specific features. It's called as Modernizer. So go to modernizer.com. It's a free JavaScript library to help us check uh, HTML5 support. One can very well go for downloading Modernizer directly. And the time we download, it will ask you certain questions like which features, which features would you like to have into your application? So maybe I would specify, I want certain features like canvas suppose. So let's try to check canvas. 
is what I want, Canvas support, it gets added now into the code. Then I also want to check whether HTML5 specific uh, maybe audio or video is supported or not. So hopefully we'll have video somewhere at the bottom. No. Let's check. HTML5 video support. So let's say these two is what I'm going to want to add right now. And then I'm going to simply say build here. It's going to uh, help me download the content. I would say build and download. And this particular JS file is now customized according to your needs. So I'm going to copy this now and put it beside my HTML page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this file where my page is stored. So I'm going to open this. In this location, I'll specify HTML or JS content. And whatsoever is the file name, I'm going to specify it in a script tag now. So I'll specify script tag. I specify src equal to and we'll pick up that modernizer custom.js. Now what happens when I add this JS file into the code? Suddenly you get an helper object. And if you notice this, we get a helper object suddenly called as modernizer and which can give us a simple property called as canvas. So just check here if modernizer.canvas is supported, maybe alert, we can specify yes, HTML5 is supported. And in the else case, we may put another alert conveying that, so sorry, not supported. Yeah. Now again, run the code. Now when you run, it says yes, HTML5 is supported. If I go to F12 now, go to emulation section, make a change. Again, 8, I go to, I say, sorry, it is not supported, which means it works exactly in the same manner as it was supposed to work earlier. So let's not do any R&D on how do I check and which function I should check for. You can simply download Modernizer and that becomes the easiest way to check whether HTML5 is support, uh, supported or not supported on client's browser.